feel like there's cardioids everywhere. How do we tell them apart? Y equals sine theta. That's a circle. Circle on the y-axis, because sine represents y. When sine of pi over 2, that's 1. That's why that's out there and it goes around twice. R equals cosine theta. That's also a circle. But it's a circle on the x-axis, because cosine represents x. So when cosine is 0, that's 1. And that's why it's there and it goes around twice. 1 minus cosine theta. That's a cardioid. Why? Because this matches that. So when cosine is 1, that's 0. When cosine is minus 1, that's 2. And that's why you see that shape there. It's got to have a kink to be a cardioid. Dink. 1.5 minus cosine theta is also a cardioid, but this time the constant isn't bigger than the coefficient, so it never actually reaches zero, but you do get that kink when the cosine is zero, and you do get that multiple when it's pi. 3 minus cosine, that's a lemicon. Why? Because when cosine, is ze cosine of zero is one, that's two. When cosine is pi, that's four. And that's why you get the flattening of the circle on the x-axis. 1 minus 2 cosine theta. That's a lemicon. Why? Because the coefficient is bigger than the constant, and it's going to double on itself because it's going to have a negative r. Cosine 2 theta. That's a polar rose. Our argument's been doubled, so we're going to double the number of petals and we get 4. Sure, because we're going to have negative r's. And it's cosine, so it starts on x. Cosine 3 theta is next. That's also a polar rose, but this time it's odd. The argument's odd, so we're going to get that number of petals, and it's cosine, so it starts on the x. R squared, cosine 2 theta. It's a landscape. Since r is squared, we lose all of our negative r's. They become undefined, and that's why we find our four-leaf rose becomes a two-leaf rose. It's a landscape. We're sorry. The number you have dialed is not in service at this time.